Why is it that since the introduction of the wilderness to RuneScape, it has timelessly sparked debate and controversy and acted as a divisional agent between old school RuneScape's PVM and PvP communities? Welcome to my video. I'm Tube Goblin, and I would love to talk about it. Disclaimer. The video that follows is nothing more than my opinion, and I would love to hear your two cents on the matter in the comment section down below. Before getting in depth with this potentially controversial topic, I believe the best place to start would be to ask, if the wilderness can be so risky, why go there in the first place? For those brave or curious enough to venture deep enough into the wild, a broad ensemble of reputable and diverse skill training methods and boss encounters, as well as their lesser variants, can be found there. On the 15th of January 2023, a massive wilderness boss rehaul and update was dropped onto the lap of old school RuneScape speculative players, bringing with it an abundance of fresh life, helping this once redundant, monotonous, and dry content bolster player numbers and participation this northeastmost section of Gilinor has seen in a long time. Now belonging to a new series of boss caves, Callisto, Venonatus, and Venion no longer able to be slain with lore and save spot techniques, reinventing the content altogether. The update also came packing a new selection of top tier wilderness upgrades and lucratives. Being a PVMer myself, my interest had initially peaked in this new revised boss rework and these desired at the time new upgrades. By combining the new boss specific drops with the pre-existing Vigoro's Chain Mace, Crossbow, and Thamarin Scepter, these once lackluster weapons would now brandish a great revision of power. If your intentions are pure, and making coin is not on the top of your priority list, the Wilderness offers some of the fastest skilling methods old school has to offer, PKers. Eager to diversify my PVM experience, I myself, along with many more like-minded PVMers, looked to the Wilderness at the time of the update with open arms and a somewhat open mind. After all, who doesn't like new boss mechanics and a variety of brand new, high cost, high demand drops? Very soon did I realize that my time and efforts here would run nothing short of frustrating and lackluster, as every few minutes, cohorts of players would ruthlessly hunt and track me, attempting to steal my black dragonhide armor and glory amulet with efforts such that you would think that their life depended on it. Using a bevy of sneaky tricks and ambush tactics, these volatile shitmongers will do anything and everything to ruin your day, regardless of your intention or experience. I was also very quick to learn that if you value honor or respect and you plan on tackling some of this wilderness content, I recommend leaving it along with any other values of integrity you may have right in your bank. As I fine tuned my senses and increased my situational awareness, I nonetheless every time would get ambushed by these unknown assailants. If the stench of yak piss and boutique cheese emitting from them wasn't bad enough, I would grow far too familiar with the aroma as they yet again violate my efforts and my curiosity in the content. Feeling as if I needed to keep some sort of whistle around my neck, I noticed that it seems as if there are more PKers looking to capitalize off of your misery and hard work than there are PVMers farming these bosses overall. If I wanted to sit at the edge of my seat, stressed that I could get my ham hocks helplessly clapped at a moment's notice, I would almost rather not play at all which is amongst many of the reasons people turn to gaming in the first place. To escape from reality and chase that epic yearn of fulfillment for just a little while. Some players have adapted strategies and techniques of their own to attempt to combat these thugs by bringing player killing specific swaps and the hopeful element of surprise to survive the encounter and maybe even come out on top. While the efforts of this anti pkang method are just, it overall causes the PVMer to bring more value and risk into the wilderness, further benefiting the PK or piss pod. After getting killed several times in cold blood for an average risk of about 80,000 each death, I decided it was then time to learn to fight yak piss with yak piss. So to last man standing I went to help better my odds of defending myself from any future wilderness attackers. Have you ever gotten frozen and your opponent does that horse shit where they stand under your tile so your character can't attack back? Kinda feels like somebody's feeling up on your wife's ass cheek and you're forced to watch. Even more surprising with old school RuneScape PK content creating giants such as Torvesta, Skill Specs, 
and Odeblock floating around out there, as well as many other skilled PKers. I'm shocked to see how many people think that they have a chance at combating these skilled veterans. Hours upon hours of footage can be seen of players getting killed attempting some wilderness bossing and losing large sums of wealth. So why contribute to the PKer and their content and find yourself victimized on some streamer's weekly PK compilation? How do we fix these issues? I think the most efficient way to cut the head off of the snake would simply be to not participate in this content altogether. In hopes that these predators hopefully get bored and contemplate playing old school RuneScape the way it should be played. Through a proper bossing, questing, and skilling experience. If you made it all the way through the video, may I thank you for your precious time and once again ask you to please hit those like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more videos made like this in the future. And until next time my humble brothers of Gilinor, Tomb Goblin out.